I'm here at the 18th century Ardrossan Parish Church, home to the North Ayrshire Heritage Center. History and heritage have long been an important part of social life in Scotland. Since the late 50s, the museums operated here, taking care of different parts of Ayrshire history, from genealogical research all the way over to temporary exhibits about local history. It also hosts some of the best examples of medieval stonework in Scotland. This is the Ardrossan sarcophagus, and it has an interesting history. In the late 1600s, the old Ardrossan Parish Church was blown over by a hurricane. And after about 50 to 100 years, soil and dirt built up that obscured all of the ornate stone carvings that were a part of the church. So for 200 years, this sarcophagus was lost. The Victorians, however, loved medieval Celtic stonework. In 1911, an amateur archeologist actually found this sarcophagus and they found it it was interesting because it had been lost for 200 years, but when it was rediscovered, the lid was actually ajar and there were still fragments of skull and shoe leather inside. What you have here on the lid is a cross form from a stepped base up into a foliated cross. So you have this very life motif on this lid of a box, obviously, to mark someone's death. Next to the cross, there's a sword. Now this sword is very important because the sword is a mark of rank. It says this is an important person. And the sword could mean someone is an actual fighter or it could have been more symbolic. But no matter what, by placing the sword next to this foliated cross, what is being said here is the person who was, in, was interred here, the person who lied beneath the stone was a warrior for Christ. That could be symbolic, that could be literal but it was a message that anyone looking at this under the altar would have known. Now because of the damage to the original Aldrossan Parish Church, there's no way of knowing who was originally buried in the sarcophagus. However, that doesn't mean that people haven't had ideas. When this was originally discovered in 1911, a local spiritualist came and gave a paper for the local town about the vision she had had of this sarcophagus. In her vision, she said it was a local earl who had gone off to the Crusades and died and come back to be buried here. There's no way of verifying this at all. Though, because of where it was found and how ornate and special this box is, it is likely that this was either one of the local earls or a close member of their family.